back to the channel. So pleased with the triumph. If people watched the last video, that was so emotional, so nice. Big, big thank you to everybody that commented, liked the video. It, it was really special. I'm so glad that some of the comments I've had, it's inspired other people to have a go. You know, to if they've got a project, go for it. I mean, that was a, this triumph was a big, big learning curve. This goes back to the owners in the next day or two. It'd be kind of sad to see it go, but this project is finished. I need to move back on to my other projects. But I just wanted to do a short video just, just to say thank you to everybody. It, it really means a lot. The support I get is phenomenal. The comments, the likes, all the new people that are coming over and seeing the channel and the people that have been inspired in the past by the builds I've done to have a go and try. One that sticks to mind is a gentleman called David. I haven't spoken to him for some time. Uh, he left me a message not long ago. So big, big thank you, David. And I hope the second ST that you're working on goes well. Keep me informed of how it's going. Like I said to him, the playlist is still there. I've got playlists for the Varadero, for the ST, obviously for the Triumph. Go and check them out. Have a look at what I've done. I learn as I go. I'm not a fully qualified mechanic. I've said that many times. My word is not gospel. It's not sometimes not how you should do things but I learn sometimes I don't always get things right I make mistakes it happens but as I say the triumph that will be gone so a couple of days so pleased I, I can't wait to see the owners faces because obviously they've only seen it on video they haven't seen it since it was dropped off if you remember all the months ago when it arrived in the garage it looked like this And obviously, as you saw in the last video, but I'll put it back up, here it is again, as it is finished. Also, I've had a lot of comments regarding obviously Z650, yes I will be back on the Z650 very very soon. A big apology to everybody, the videos haven't been as fluent as they used to. Obviously I had a lot of problems with the Triumph near the end, just the fine tuning and getting it right. It took time. I didn't want to film just anything just to film for the sake of filming. So some things I, I, I won't, I'll just persevere and I won't put content up. But videos are still being watched, which is fantastic. Keep watching, keep going through the playlists. I will be back on the Z650 very shortly. I'm going to take a break away from builds. I'm waiting for a few parts on the Z650. I've still got a few problems with the exhaust, but as I say, it's still sitting there. It will be back in this position soon. Obviously, once the, the Triumph goes, I'll have a little bit more space. Next episode, I'm going to have a bit of a play with, with the Z1000. As some of you have seen, it's a long-going project that's just a bit of fun. I've got some bits up on the bench. The engine is back out of the frame. So I'll show you that in a second and what I'm going to cover in probably the next two or three episodes just to break away and just enjoy myself for a little bit and then we'll be back on the Z650 and get that finished and up and running similar to the Triumph. So let me show you what I've got on the bench for the next episode and how far the Z1000 is. So many of you be familiar with the Z1000 but if you're not Engine's actually a Z1000J2. The barrels are actually 1170. That this engine at the moment is empty. It's just literally 
I've re stripped it down. I'll put a link up in the top corner for the playlist on the Z1000. It's an ongoing slow process. I just do it every so often. So the whole engine was st stripped, cleaned, repainted. Obviously continuing on with the polishing. Still got some more work to do on the outer sprocket cover and the generator cover. That one was scuffed and scratched and as you can see it's actually starting to come up. But I've just been working on little bits at a time until I can get it, all the engine exactly how I want it and how I like it. And then I'll start rebuilding the internals. So the next episode, I'm going to strip the carbs down. As you can see, they're BS34 Makunis. They are in a right state. So we're going to do a full strip down, literally take them down into single carbs, bring out the ultrasonic cleaner, drop each one in, and literally refurb through the whole lot. As I say, probably be a couple of episodes, maybe two, uh, probably three, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. So we'll do one for the actual strip down. I'll film what I can because obviously, as I said before, the ultrasonic can be quite noisy, it interferes with the camera. But yeah, as you can see there, these are all stuck, all at different heights. It is pretty grimy. So I did play with a couple of the tops a while ago, just trying to bring them back up, but that's what they started with. I may paint the actual main bodies and keep the tops and the float bowls as polished. I don't know, we'll see how that goes. Because I think matching in with the black and chrome of the engine the bodies actually might look good black but I don't know yet we'll decide on that as I go but yeah so I'll be running a series on BS34 Makunis these are used on other bikes um, some of the KZ1000 police bikes I think use these and the Yamaha XS range I think they're only two and three XS650, XS750, and I believe XS1100 also use BS34s. But I'll uh, I'll have a look into it and I'll put a list up of all the bikes that BS34 Makunis fit. So hopefully it will help other people that have got these particular carbs. So that'll be the next project for, let's say the next few episodes, we'll get them refurbed. And then I'll get back onto the Z650. It's like it hasn't moved, it's stood here. Sorry about the light down this end, I'm still having problems with the fluorescent tube. I say I did have it running, but it was blowing from the exhaust. I've still got some more work to do on the exhaust. We've still got the paint to do. A lot of the bolts I'm going to have to go back and refurb or replace. So there's there's plenty more to come on that. Uh, the ST1100 and the booster are sitting outside at the moment. The ST, I've got some work to do on that. And then obviously later on we'll get back into the Varadero. Try and get that sorted up, running. Um, unsure whether to paint it or just clean it. But get that sorted and that will probably be i'll probably end up selling that off actually in the end i mean it's been a good bike but we'll see how things go and also trying to tidy up my garage which is as always full to the brim but like i say that's just a quick brief of what's coming up what i'm going to get back into I will try and get the videos back in 
more constant than I have. As I say, it's been hit and miss of videos, what I'm, what I'm doing, problems I've had. Some of it I think needed filming, some of it didn't. Ultimately, yes, I'd like to get back to the two videos a week where I was, but as I say, we'll see how it goes. I'll just take it as it comes. I have been taking a bit of time out just to walk away and just chill and relax. As I said, the Triumph, fantastic experience, and I can't thank the owners enough. And I can't wait to see their faces. That, that will be really, really good but very very stressful at times and sometimes you just have to anybody who's doing projects sometimes you just leave it and just walk away or go and do something else so that's what I ended up doing but I'm no, looking forward to getting back into the Z650 but as I say for the next few episodes I'm going to do a strip down on the uh, BS34 Makunis so as I said earlier don't forget to go and check out the playlists any comments in the comments box below, I appreciate all your feedback, all your comments. There's a link to my Facebook page, also in the in the description. Pop across there, check out the page, say hello. That page is growing. I think it's over 1,500 followers now, which is absolutely phenomenal. And I thank every single person that's followed the page. A lot of them are seeing the page, joining the page and coming across and actually watching my videos which is which is fantastic. I'm still hoping to get to my target by the end of the year of 10,000 subs but we'll see how that goes but it is it is increasing daily so if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe hit the like button hit the bell notification so you'll be notified of any future videos. If you're interested any merchandise there's a link in the description, go and check out my merchandise page. Say so it's not huge, but it will get better as I go along. I am looking into other types of merchandise further down the road, but at the moment I just want to get back on track with the actual videos. There are links to other videos at the end of the video, and as always, appreciate your support. Thanks for watching. Join me again next time. Cheers. Bye.